Tiki. In this session, we will learn how to work with launch word action and close word action. Before learning about these actions, let me show you some example where we will use MS Word. Microsoft Word is a word processing program that enable user mainly for creating documents such as letters, learning activities, quizzes, tests and many more. And also we can edit, save and print documents. For an example, we want to create an automation that generates a performance review Word document for each member of a team based on the template Word file and data gathered from several text files. In this case, we are using Word automation action. Generally, we'll follow these steps to create a document on our desktop. First, we'll go for the start menu and then we'll go for the Microsoft Word, right? Let me click on open. Then we'll go for the file and then we'll click on new. And there you can see we're going to create new document that is blank document by clicking on create. And then we'll write or type our text. And then what we'll do after typing, we'll go for the file again. And then we'll go for save or save as document. And then once it has been saved successfully, we'll close the word document. These are the steps which we'll generally follow to create a document. At the first step to create the Word document, which action will use it in Word actions that I'm having launch Word action. This action creates a new instance or open the existing document. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. There you can see the description says the launch Word action launches a new Word instance or opens a Word document which is already exists. If you see the parameters, the first parameter is the launch Word. If you drop down, I'm having two options over here. First option is that with a blank document. That is nothing but you want to launch a document which is a blank. In that case, I will get document one, document two, and so on as a blank documents. Or else, if you want to open the existing document or following document, in that case, I'm going to use open the following document. I'm going to select with blank document. And then you can see the second parameter, make instance visible. What is that means? If you're going to open or create a document, in that case, it will be visible on the desktop. So to make that instance visible, I'm going to make it as enabled or it should be hide. In that case, I'm going to disabling it. Now, if you observe over here, specify whether to make the word window visible or hide it. Now, how can we go ahead and make it? By using make instance visible parameter. Once the instance has been created, the specific word instance for use with later word actions, we are going to make it the variable as word instance. This allows the user to specify which of the possibly several word documents to access it. So now the variables produced, I'm going to store inside my variable that is word instance. All right, let me click on save. Now this is our first action that is launch word action. After that, we'll use multiple actions such as save word document, write to Word documents and many more operations we will do. Once it has been done that, we have to close the particular instance for the launch word. How can we go ahead and we can close it? By using close word action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. There you can see the description of the close word is that it will close a word instance which is already available in the particular desktop flow. The word instance you can see over here, I'm going to give it as word instance which has been created at the time of launch word action. Now, the second parameter is that before closing word. There are three options are there. One is save document. Another one, save document as, and don't save the document. Save document means it will save it as is document one, document two. Save as document is nothing but what is the name you are going to mention or the path you are going to mention it. Don't save the document means you don't want to save the document. Right now, I'm going to select it as save document as. Then the parameters you can see, document format, the default format, or there are n number of formats are available to save the Word document. There you can see I'm having .doc, .dotx, that is nothing but templates format, .dotm, that is macro enabled template, and PDF format, XPS format, and many more are there available. Now, the final parameter is that document path. 
where you have to save this documentation. In that case, I will give the path over here. Now, we will go for the another parameter that is before closing Word document as save document. In that case, it won't ask any other parameters. It will save in the default location. All right. Let me click on save. I hope you understand how to work with launch word action as well as close word action as part of this tutorial.